It is Sunday, May 8th. Uh, May 8th is the latest ice out date that we've seen uh, historically when we've been at Tuscarora, so the last eight years. And we're going to beat it this year, that's for sure. The lake is, uh, it is locked up pretty tight. Although it is getting pretty dark out there, you could probably still walk across it fairly safely. Um, we'll see what happens. It's going to be a warm week, but it is not going to be as sunny as last week, and I think that is going to hurt us. So if we don't get a bunch of rain and we have a bunch of cloudy days, the melt is going to slow down a little bit. So we'll see where we stand at the end of the week. This is Cross Bay, and holy smokes. If you've been here before, you're going, where's the dock? It's under oh, at least a foot of water. So this is insane. We haven't been down here in three days. Um, this is just nuts. Definitely, this is the highest I have ever seen this in my entire life. Um, this is crazy. Uh, it seems disproportionately high for how much snow we have up here, or had. Um, I think it might have to do with uh, all this water not being able to flow into Gumflint Lake as uh, effectively, I guess, as it would if Gumflint Lake was open. Um, but this is insane. You can kind of see the outline of the dock right there. Holy smokes. And I've never seen this completely flooded either. You could paddle straight through there where usually you have to paddle around that way. And the GoPro audio probably won't pick it up, but you can hear the falls over there just roaring. Cross River down in here and overflowing into Gunfunt Lake. This is where all that water is going. And Gunflint is looking a little dark. It's looking promising. Um, but that can be deceiving. There's uh, We had to drill a hole out here uh, a few days ago down there and, and there was 30 inches of ice still so but with all this warm water blasting in here it has really eaten away on the ice here on the uh you know we're on the far western end and there's two loons right there first loons of the season that i've seen large creek and you know what it actually has come down a little bit um, so there's a chance that Larch Lake is open or is uh, close to being open and the water can flow through there a little more effectively. That is good. Um, Larch, along with Cross, like I said, are generally the two earliest entry points accessible on the Gunflint Trail. And Seagull, it's going to be really windy out there so I'm not sure the audio is going to be very good. But there's still, still ice, although it is looking pretty dark. Actually, it looks really good. Yeah. The seagull is farther along than round, which is weird. And it's candling here. Look at this. Cool. I think this end of seagull has a pretty good shot to being out by, by Saturday. If it starts to break up with this wind and shift around, that'd be even better. Um, but keep in mind that this is just one side of a really big lake. And um, honestly, I'm a little surprised at how far along it is, especially compared to the like Round Lake, which is small and shallow. So, weird. And finally, sag. Still quite a bit of ice on the corridor. Should be able to put our dock in pretty soon. But the question is, what's the main lake like? And it'll be a while before we know. Um, I know that the Seagull River has blasted open a big portion of the corridor down that way, so that is good. But uh, in my experience, it's usually a fairly significant amount of time between when the corridor is completely open and then the rest of the lake is, so we'll see. We got more melting to do, but overall, considering what April was like, um, it's looking pretty good.